Today we're going to share with you my cholesterol lowering protocol that evolved out of a lot of research and a lot of patient experimentation over the last four years. Hi, my name is Dr. Lori Marbus. I'm a board certified family and lifestyle medicine physician who is licensed and licensed to practice medicine in all 50 states and also DC. Um, if you'd like to learn more and join my newsletter where you get more information like, you know, the cholesterol learning protocol, please see the link below or go to drmarbus.com and I'd ha be happy to have you join the uh, newsletter family. So let's get back to it. So many of the patients that I see are obviously either wanting to start a plant-based diet or on a plant-based diet, but they're doing something that they're struggling. They're one, maybe they're worried well, they're just like, hey, is, am I doing everything correctly? And their numbers look great. But then there's a large number of people who are one, maybe they're initially starting a plant-based diet. They're not sure how to do it. They're looking for expertise and help in <clears throat> making sure they get all the benefits of a whole food plant-based diet and be very careful sometimes of some of the pitfalls. One of the main concerns I get is people asking, well, how do I lower my cholesterol even lower? Sometimes we'll have patients who are eating a whole food plant-based diet, but their cholesterol still remains high and above what we would consider less risk factors, right? So maybe that total cholesterol is still hitting around 200. Their LDL is still above 100. Maybe they have a positive coronary artery calcium score. Their doctors told them they need to be on a statin. Many different things that can occur here. So remember, at the end of the day, my goal, one, is to not only improve your numbers, but improve one quality of life, but and increase your longevity, right? I want you to live the long longest and healthiest life possible. So some, many of my patients um, don't necessarily want to start statins, which I understand. However, statins may be absolutely needed in some cases. That is an individual discussion depending on risk factors and things like that. So I'm not negating the need for medications or their efficacy because they absolutely have been shown to be helpful. However, we do need to address the monkey in the room or the elephant in the room saying, hey, why am I doing this diet and I'm still not seeing some benefit? There's a few different things that could be an issue here, but I really wanted to highlight my cholesterol lowering protocols. I've seen LDL drop 25 to 50 points easily, even those who are eating a whole food plant-based diet. So you definitely want to stick around. I'm going to go over it in detail and <clears throat> let me pull up my notes and I will tell you how this kind of came about was just because, again, I was struggling to help these patients and I know they were frustrated. So then I just started diving into the research. You know what? I'm like going to combine everything that I'm finding that's actually helpful. And that's this is what we came up with. Now, it is a bit of an interesting protocol. You will want to be very consistent in what I'm about to tell you. And if you if you're not consistent, well, you're not going to get the benefit. So. Where did it go here? One sec here. There it is. Okay. Number one. Um, again, like I said, I've had this tested on four years of patients with great success. First of all, you're going to understand that you're going to want to mix about a quarter to a half a cup of unsweetened applesauce with the things I'm going to list you. There's four things I want you to put in the applesauce. So there's some things in apples alone, that pectin, that are very helpful in lowering cholesterol. So plus this will kind of hide some of the unsavoriness that you might see that I'm going to be adding into that cup of applesauce. So what I do recommend for patients is they get those little cups that are already, you can get in the store, unsweetened applesauce, organic, or you can make your own. It doesn't really matter. But that's the base of it. And you're going to consume this mixture twice a day, okay? And so you're going to do it before lunch and before dinner. And the reason I say before lunch and dinner is twofold. Um, the studies show that it's not as helpful with breakfast. And if you do it before dinner, when you're eating and the LDL is being recycled, it grabs hold of that LDL and escorts it out. Literally, your other end. There's some other things going on here, but that's the main reason for this particular type of mixture with before lunch and dinner, okay? Next um, to that, you're going to add amla powder, and that is Indian gooseberry. The brand that I like is Terrasol. You can get it on Amazon. You want to add anywhere between an eighth of a teaspoon to a quarter of a teaspoon. You don't need more than that, and it's super sour. So you'll definitely want to put it in the applesauce. Some people don't like apples, but again, I'm just saying 
everything that I've added in here has some benefit. There's something to it that's going to be helpful. AMLA has also been shown to help lower LP little a upwards of 20%. So if you've been struggling saying, hey, my cholesterol number looks pretty good, but my LPA is really high, you might want to definitely pay attention here because this might help, again, lower that LP little a. Um, so a quarter to half a cup of applesauce, you put in your AMLA powder, and then you're going to take a teaspoon of psyllium husk. Now, some people can't handle the, the psyllium husk very well. Um, if you're taking certain medications, you might want to check with your doctor. Maybe you shouldn't be taking psyllium husk because that can maybe interfere with some medication absorption. So again, you want to do your research. There's only one brand of psyllium husk that I feel comfortable recommending, and that's the Yerba Prima psyllium husk. And that's because lead can be found in others like Metamucil and stuff like that. So again, you have your applesauce, you're putting in a quarter to an eighth of a quarter to, to a teaspoon of the animal powder, right? Terrasol is a good brand. And then the Yerba uh, Prima psyllium whole husk, right? One teaspoon. And then you're gonna put one tablespoon of ground flax seed and half a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon. The other types of cinnamon you don't want to because they're not very healthy for your liver, but the Ceylon cinnamon has helpful. So those are the four things that you put in your applesauce. The amla powder, the psyllium husk, the ground flaxseed, and cinnamon. So those are the things that you want to do. You're gonna take that mixture, you're gonna eat it before lunch and before dinner. Now there's three other things or four other things that are part of the protocol. That is the, the cocktail. Okay, and here's the other things you want to do. Next, you want to eat one Brazil nut per week. That's all you need. Eating more than that is too much selenium. Okay, there are some interesting studies, smaller studies that have been shown that Brazil nuts can be helpful. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably even grade uh, or grate, excuse me, the um, Brazil, Brazil nut over the applesauce. That would be fine too. Next is berberine. Berberine has been really helpful for my patients, not only with cholesterol, but also with their blood sugars. And by the way, AMLA can also help with blood sugars. So you're getting some very interesting things. This is one of two supplements that I'm going to recommend. But the berberine, um, I like the um, Solaray brand or Thorne Research brand at 500 milligrams three times a day. Okay. That's going to be where you see the benefit when you look at the research. That's how much you should be consuming um, regularly. Again, this all goes together. You can take it probably with meals, maybe 30 minutes before meals. Um, I think that's probably where most people find the benefit. Some people found that their blood sugars, if you're looking for blood sugar responses, they do better when they take it about 30 minutes beforehand. If you're just doing it for the cholesterol, you probably can take it with your meals. Next is your algae omega-3s. Um, this is just a good source of those long chain omegas, EPA, DHA. Um, those are good for brain health, but also good for heart health. And they decrease inflammation, which is a part of heart disease, right? So when you look at heart disease, it is not only your LDL, but it's also regards to your inflammation, right? So if you're eating a whole food plant-based diet, that inflammation can be dramatically dropped, but this can also help by adding a little bit of the um, algae omega-3s. The brands that I like are Nordic Naturals, there's also some others that you can get enough would be something like Complement, um, where they have your Complement Essential. They get your B12, your D, and your Omegas, which are the three supplements that I make sure that I take every day. So again, that would be a good thing. And then finally, this is a food product that I'm going to recommend that you get at least two to three servings per day, minimally two servings, and that is soy products, right? So this could be soybeans, edamame, tempeh, tofu, soy milk, some type of soy product because that has actually been shown to decrease your cholesterol. And I would say probably you're going to see the most benefit with more of the whole soybean, right? So you want to do the soybean, the edamame or tempeh. Those would be my tier one soy products. Tier two would probably be soy milk, tofu, and um, any derivative thereof. So those would be the things I recommend. So I'm going to go over this again. Um, one is mix um, the following into applesauce is a quarter or, or eight, excuse me, eighth to a quarter teaspoon of amla powder. Terrasol is a good brand. You have soluble fiber, which is the <clears throat> one teaspoon of psyllium husk, and that's your Yerba Prima psyllium whole husk, ground flaxseed, one tablespoon, and half a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, one Brazil nut per week, berberine three times a day, Thorn Research Berberine or the Solar Ray is a good brand. Um, algae Omegas, Nordic Naturals or Complement. Soy products, two servings per 
per day and being consistent every single day. The other benefit that you see with this is that people feel really full. Um, what's interesting is they don't tend to eat as much uh, when they take this little cocktail beforehand. Now, for those who need to lose weight, that can be quite an advantage. For those who don't, they may find it a little bit troublesome. And they're like, man, I'm just not hungry after that. So there's some benefit there. But if you're not hungry thereafter, you know, you just maybe want to chow down a little bit on more calorically dense foods to help maintain a healthy weight. So I've certainly seen people who consistently eat a whole food plant-based diet lose too much weight. So, um, all right. So again, I will probably send this out next week um, in my newsletter. So please feel free to join the newsletter at the link below and um, I'm going to be happy to send that to you. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, please share this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, set the little alert and uh, hopefully we can help as many people as possible. I'm also working on a menopause course um, where we talk about all sorts of stuff. I'll tomorrow or maybe a little bit later today, I'll come live again and describe the menopause symptom questionnaire that I've created to really help you understand, are you suffering? You know, like what's the severity of your menopause? What are some of the things that I might suggest to help you get started on the path to feeling better as well? So, you know, check out the email list. Really, guys, I communicate with everyone there every single week and I send out a delicious, healthy recipe. So hope to see you there. And thanks again, as always, for joining me. I'm sending you um, gratitude, joy, peace, love and uh, healing again, because we all need more of that every single day in our lives. So have a good day, everyone. And I'll be back later.